Hi, my name is Jenna Turk, and this is my Wonder Brief. <laughs> I actually got into puppeteering, I feel like, more officially just over a year ago. I'd been living in Calgary for three years, trained as an actor and a writer. I do take on the director role sometimes, but yeah, I like to call myself a collaborator. One of the things that I'd always wanted to do was do the puppet intensive at the Banff Center. Um, and so I did that a, a year ago. It was a really interesting mix of people and it was wonderful. So I came to the uh, intensive as a performer, not a builder. That was sort of the main difference. There were sort of like, you know, a stream of performers and a stream of builders. And then of course there's people who can do both and do both really well. And I found that honestly, as a performer, like tangible maker thing is sort of taken from you. Growing up like in elementary school, middle school, high school, um, Usually if you're in a show, you're also probably like painting a set or like maybe putting your costume together um, and all that. And I actually really like that. Like I really believe that each part of the process makes the thing come together and all of those creative aspects um, are exciting to me. I just was really craving a more active role in the creative process, but I'd kind of forgotten that or felt a little bit like that's not your territory. From there, uh, there was a call out for the inaugural Dolly Wiggler Cabaret Incubator. I was like, yeah, I totally want to do that. I just applied with an idea. I didn't even have the idea of how I would craft um, the piece, but I knew that I wanted to make a piece about the telephone wire outside my window, this one here. Uh, because it always reminded me of a bird, and so I wanted it to come alive. I remember that I had some needle felt stuff left because at the intensive, uh, Juanita taught us um, like basic needle felting. There, I was just like, this is cool. I just kind of was like, yeah, I'll do this. And so I had this idea about using my sweatshirt as like a background. was really into sweatshirts and I'm still really into sweatshirts. That kind of, I feel like that was like the birth of kind of what I do. So it's small, it's colorful, very messy needle felt creatures, somewhat based on reality. I don't have my own studio. That would be wonderful. Um, so I build and work uh, in my apartment primarily. Yeah, it's a bachelor apartment, so it's pretty tiny. Yeah, so that's kind of what I'm doing. And so for the Wonder Brief, I wanted to grow that a little bit further. So I made uh, two short films um, in that kind of style and like, you know, filming overhead with the like sweatshirt laid out on the ground, that kind of thing. So I pitched this idea um, of creating a sweatsuit puppet theater. So essentially the idea is that I will be using my body, I'll be wearing the sweatsuit um, and using it as a backdrop for a puppet piece. It's called I Climbed a Mountain and I Turned Around. Mm. Ah. The natural landscape will change um, depending on how I move my body. My favorite thing about using sweatshirts for puppet backgrounds is wearing them inside out. That is key. It's the fuzziness that is very, very appealing to me. Um, I mean, if a sweatshirt isn't fuzzy inside, is it even a sweatshirt? And it was also inspired by this sweatshirt I had as a small child. Um, perhaps uh, others have had sweatshirts like this, but it had Velcro on it um, and had two little dolls with like yarn hair that I could like move around on my sweatshirt. Um, so that's like the general idea. Um, 
yeah, so that's where I am now. Um, thanks. <laughs> <laughs>